is Savannah of So Livy Dyes Yarn and welcome or welcome back to another knitting podcast. Yay! <laughs> um, I do these weekly. It's just something I do to show you guys the progress I've been making mostly. It's because I just want to talk about my knitting. That's about it. Um, I do apologize that I chose this time to film this video while my washing uh, machine is is on and I know you can hear it in the background um, I do apologize tomorrow is going to be a busy a busy day so I wanted to get this done today today is Sunday July 31st 108 p.m. and I am in Colorado if you are unaware where I live. Um, my kids are upstairs so they might interrupt. My husband might interrupt as well but he went over to his dad's house so hopefully hopefully I can get through this. Anyway so today it's just um, some whips I have to show you. Um, I have a teeny tiny little bit of sewing that I'll show closer to the end um, and then um, prep, prep for a new project um, which I'll tell you about um, when I get to it. But yes, as you can see, nothing has changed here on my mannequin and it probably won't unless I get, you know, fancy and decide to change the outfit, but most likely that will not happen. Um, so yeah, this past week has been, it's been a good week. It went too fast. Tomorrow we start school prep. Um, the reason why I can't film this tomorrow morning, because uh, I typically film these either Sunday or Monday. It'll probably start being Mondays or Sundays again, considering school starting this next week, um, and I'm going back to work. But um, tomorrow we have to get up extra early so I can go take staff photos. Not looking forward to it. I'll probably just I'll see if I can just stick around to get my badge photo and then bounce because I also want to take my kids to the pool. It'll be our last our last chance to go to the pool <clears throat> tomorrow and the weather's supposed to be nice and warm so this whole past week has been chilly and cold and monsoonish um, so we were not able to go to the pool um, but hopefully tomorrow we'll get to. So again my day will be busy and once we go to the pool I get really hot and overheated and I don't want to I'm not gonna want to film <laughs> so uh, that's what we're doing today um, but yes last week has been pretty uneventful just good I got a lot of I think I got a lot of knitting done um, I'm just sad to think that my knitting time is going to be cut down quite a bit from now on <laughs> but oh well all right let's go ahead and just jump right into my whips. My first whip, again, same old, same old, <laughs> Rocket Tea by Tannis Lavelli of Tannis Fiber Arts. I didn't do a lot this week, maybe, maybe an inch and a half, two inches, an inch and a half to inch and three quarters, probably. Not a whole heck of a lot. I did try it on, and I really loved the fit of it. Um, it was just, I definitely needed the extra length. It was cropped up above my belly button, which isn't something I prefer. Um, especially if this isn't, like if this was solid black, then maybe I would, but uh, it's not, as you can see. <laughs> it's this beautiful gradient. Um, so this is 100% cotton. It's a, one of those four-stranded cottons. This one's from Ma Monsoon Calamity. Um, it's her mocha cotton. It's four strands of cotton, like I said. Um, and she she no longer makes these, but she would just switch one thread. Um, I'm not sure how how you know how long she goes. It's as you can see, well, the lighting is decent, so it's kind of blending. <clears throat> you can see it's shorter here because I was increasing, but every so often she switches one strand to make these gradients. This one's the, is it Cash? C-A-C-H-E, Cash, I believe. That's how that's pronounced. Not Cash, C 
cash. That's what this colorway is called. Again, it is um, the Rocket Tee, so it's just knit back and forth until you join here. And like I said, it looks really nice on me. I, I, I enjoy it. Uh, I just don't know if I'm going to get it done before the cold weather comes. I mean, I probably will. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. But I will not be able to finish this entire thing. Or else it'll end up being like a dress, a tunic. I'm not knitting that long. Um, but yeah, we're, get, we're getting there. That's, I try to pick it up every morning for a little bit just to get some on there. It's not something I'm, I, I should because it's getting closer, but I'm not. Um, other whip, my other whip that I have been working on is my Attune Shawl by Andrea Mowry. I'm knitting this all with my hand spun and we're getting to the end. We're getting to the end of the, my first colorful cake. So I have two of these different, completely different colors. These fibers are from Wound Up Fibers. They are Superwash Merino. I think 90% Superwash Merino, 10% Nylon. They're really soft. These were really nice to spin, but I'm, I'm getting to the end of the first one, which is nice. And then my contrast color, sorry. Everything's starting to kind of fall apart. Contrast color is from Busy Bee Fibers. I believe it is also just a merino. I don't think it's super wash. Um, I had a humbug and an ecru and I just plied them together. Also a very nice spin. <clears throat> I do have a little bit of this fiber left over but I really don't think I'm going to need it to spin more of this. So We'll see how much I have left of that. I'll have to check and we'll see. I don't know what, what's happening, but let me show you what I've got here. <clears throat> it's getting very, very large. Again, I cannot stretch it out on my, on my cable. <coughs> um, so yeah, I finished, I finished the, the pattern bit uh, a little while back and I've started on the the garter ridge section which isn't your typical garter it's I'm having to knit slide it back purl turn it around purl slide it back knit with some increases in there which is crazy but it's okay so yeah I had just started the garter um, when I showed you last time and so that's how much I've done so far even though it's um, purling, it's still pretty mindless. So there was a big chunk of green, as you can see, but I'm finally out of it. I'm finally starting to transition back into other colors, which is nice. So I'm going to have this stripe of green and pink here, which is going to be a little bit different, but that's okay. I could have cut that out, but I didn't want to. So this is the front side. You have brioche and half fisherman's rib. And this is the reverse side, which I really like because you can see the colors more, but both sides are definitely fun. Yeah, let me see the colors more on this side. Just knitting away. Try to do a little bit of this every day as well, just to, I'd like to get this done. Um, August, I, I probably will. It's just... There's, there's some plans coming up in uh, August, so yeah. Again, hand, my own hand spun, which is really, really nice. I was even debating if I should offer um, hand spinning services in case anybody ever wants to receive some hand spun and knit it into, I mean, whatever. It, make, it makes really lovely shawls. But you know, that's, that's up to, if, if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and comment or reach out to me on Instagram or Ravelry or wherever. Um, I'm more than happy to spin fiber for you. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, last whip, this one, 
This one is the one that I am still debating if I'm going to try and write a pattern for. It's a cardigan. I'm toying with names still so far, so no name as of yet. But I've <laughs> I've been knitting like crazy. I don't even have a um, progress keeper in here because I believe the last time I showed you, I was somewhere on this front thing and I didn't even have this side done. <clears throat> so I'm going to stand up a little bit here. Okay, so let me tell you about this. I had the back piece, which is just this purple. And then I had one front, I think the right front or the left front. I can't remember which one. I had it almost finished. <clears throat> well, I went ahead after the last week's video, went ahead, finished that side, added this side. Did it all the way to the armpit join, the purple. That's when I decided I was going to measure how long the purple was. And then that's how long I was going to do the blue, the green, and you can see the yellow. Well, <clears throat> since this isn't going to be an oversized cardigan, this is pretty deep, which I'll put it on in a minute. It's not super, super deep, but it's, it's definitely deeper. This was something like eight inches. So I, I multi, you know, I multiplied for each color. It would have been, I think 32 inches, which means the cardigan would have come way down to like mid thigh. And I'm like, that is way too long. <clears throat> so I had to do some math to figure out, you know, like a good, a good length, you know, still, you know, not cropped. I definitely didn't want an oversized cropped cardigan. So I went ahead, did the math. I think I'm somewhere around 23, 24 inches when I'm finished with the yellow. Um, so I had to, <laughs> I had to rip back the two front pieces and the back piece ripped back and then um, switched to the blue sooner. I was a little nervous about that because I was worried about the sleeves, but I did some research. Like I looked at other people's patterns who have stripes and drop shoulders. And there's some people who have, you know, it's, it doesn't look that bad. So, so I was like, okay, let's just do it, get it taken care of. So I was able to, get back to where I was. So I had, you know, joined under the sleeves. I ripped it, ripped, not the whole thing back, but ripped back enough to, and then there are increases along here. It's a V neck. It's just, it's super rolled in. Um, get back to joining underneath the armpit and then so on and so forth. So yeah, I just added the yellow last night. That is the last color in the body um, before I do the ribbing um, and the neck band. So I'm I'm trying to decide if I want to do the 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 button band before I do sleeves or do one sleeve and then the button band. I'm not entirely sure. I also really need to block this so that you can see that it it is a V neck all the decreases but all right let me go ahead and try this on oh, I think it's gonna be really nice this is all in DK this is all my hand dyed yarn um so the names that I have been messing with or at least words that I've been messing with would be obviously rainbow because there will be a pink um, rainbow and flowers or bouquet or kawaii, you know, those, I just don't know, um, what yet. Um, so the, the flowers and bouquet would come from the yarn itself because this was my flower collection. We have Dutch hyacinth, the bells of Ireland, blue star, and wisteria and then the pink is cherry blossom so yeah um again it's it's oversized it needs to be blocked it's i don't know how much ease is in here just yet but i figured that's something i can figure out closer to the end maybe but definitely a decent amount 
it's really comfy. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I've been knitting it like crazy. So yeah, and it'll come down like to there once it's all said and done. So yeah, this has been my main priority just because I'm excited about it. Um, again, just the, just the grading I think is the biggest scariest part about this um <clears throat> what, what have I, I I've done some research still not entirely sure yet um I have to do more research I've been given some great recommendations so I have to check those out um, I just yeah I want to make sure it's size inclusive because I know that's a really big deal in the knitting community so that's that's why, but yeah, this has been really fun and I'm happy that I've, I've been able to knit so much on it. Yep, I just have the pink after the yellow, it's just the ribbing and then the sleeves. You gotta figure out how long I want to do each section for the sleeves. I would like for the colors to meet, but I don't know what that means for each sleeve, like <clears throat> the amount of each color. So that will be fun and decreases. Gotta figure that out too. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, that's all my whips. That's all that I worked on. I did work a little bit on my Cosmo sweater, which I know I haven't shown on here in months. Um, that was something that happened back in March. I was started and I had a huge mistake and had to rip the entire thing out. I restarted it like a month or two ago, but I just have like a little bit of collar and the short rows finished. So I did maybe like three rows on it yesterday just to get some progress on it, but I didn't bring it down to show you. <clears throat> Anyways, prep work for new whip. So August, whip go. Let's talk whip go. Whip go, I knocked out my goals for july i can't even remember what they were i know i knocked them out early and were was able to just take care of that august numbers got pulled the other day and one of them which is really nice is my game of thrones mittens which i showed two weeks ago two weeks ago i showed my game of thrones mittens so that got pulled um for for one week at least but maybe i can get them finished in august we'll see um, but they at least get one week in August, which is good <clears throat> for Whipco. The other project that got pulled is one of my Make 9 new starts. Well, I was like, oh, do I really need a new... And it was a sweater. I'm like, do I really want to start another sweater? Not really. Um, and was I feeling that sweater? Not really. Again, that's one of my older patterns that have... I think this the yarn for it has been in sash for at least a year now. So that means the pattern's been in sash for about a year now. Um, and you know, our tastes change. It's still a beautiful pattern and um, I might knit it down the road. I just, I took the yarn from it and I'm going to use it for something else. But what I was thinking, I was like, for the laurel sweater, um, it was the laurel sweater. I don't even know if I said that. It was the laurel sweater. I can't remember who the designer is. But, I mean, I'll, I'll throw in information. Um, <clears throat> I can use any of my hand spun for that sweater and make it super cute. So, that's on the back burner. That's not happening. It's not going to be part of my Make 9 anymore. So, uh, I had meant to do, like, a Make 9 update in the middle of the year. And it's already at the end of July. So, I think I'm just going to wait till the end of the year and do a Make 9 review for the year. Um... But yeah, so that, that plan changed. So I took the yarn, which was just a undyed sport weight yarn that I had in stash and these two skeins of spin cycle. These are the only spin cycle I've ever had, ever used. I mean, I haven't even used them yet. So spin cycle. This colorway is the, this is the dyed in the wool. This colorway is called The Saddest Place. So this was actually the color called for in Laurel. My friend Jen of Jen Crafts or Spectacular Yarns, she visited Fiberspace last year and she she used to 
<laughs> she used to send me videos of the stores that she would visit. And then she'd shop for me. And, you know, I'd pay, I'd pay her, of course. But I'd be like, hey, look, can you pick up? Can you pick some out for me? And so she was showing me some of the spin cycle. And I really liked this one. Um, again, the saddest place, which is the called for colorway for Laurel. It just happened. I think it was a like a happy accident that I, I picked this color. I just liked it. Blues and purples. Very pretty. So yeah, um, you can tell that they uh, this one is a bit more purple looking. And this one's a bit more blue looking, but that's okay. That's fun. Um, you never know what it looks like on the inside. Unless you pop it open. So yeah, I have these two skeins. And then of course, Andrea Maori's Rhinebeck sweater just released. And it uses spin cycle. And I was like, dang. I'm like, her colorway, her color scheme with the orange. And then the pink and that like navy blue or at least that's what it looks like her sweater is gorgeous i really love the colors but i can't afford nor do i need to buy the yarn for that uh sweater i was like i don't need to buy that yarn it's way too expensive anyways can't afford it i do have spin cycle in my stash i could just take it and use it granted i could have used any of my hand spun too right i didn't think about that but we'll just use this so it can get used, taken out of my stash, which was my goal this year, to try to use more of my stash, old stash. So I took it, and then I went ahead and dyed all of the bear yarn this uh, deep gray. I originally thought uh, maybe a pale gray, but I really wanted these to pop. Really wanted it to pop, so I went darker than... <clears throat> originally planned so yeah <clears throat> this dark gray it's really lovely and then I have some mohair that I thought would look good so my first instinct was to pull this this is my Andromeda nope take it back <laughs> this is my Artemis colorway um, I dyed this mohair for the, oh, you're not going to be able to see it. I did the Whitmore cardigan in, and this is my Artemis colorway from Laura Olympus. Um, I had extra of this. I dyed too much of it. So I have this and I thought it would look really well with this. Purple and purple. It's like, okay. And then with the deep gray, it's like, okay, cool. The only thing left I had to choose was the neckband and the cuffs colorway and that that I struggled with I originally had thought like I pulled a skein of like lace weight that I had that was kind of like a little bit darker than this and thought that would be really lovely and then I had all the bear yarn but I was like okay I don't want the bear yarn like just white yarn so I had to have to change the cuff oh, I don't have to but I'm you know have to change the the cuff color so I was unsure really unsure what to do so I went ahead and just mixed a bunch of colors and I ended up coming up with this very pretty denim blue color and I got this denim this really pretty denim so I'm like okay this will work this could work but I was like I have all this other options too okay so let me show you the Oh, and these are all dyed on, these two are dyed on my sport, the sport weight yarn that I had for the, for the sweater, for the laurel. So this was all that I had, just five skeins of this, four went to the body, one skein for the neck and cuffs. <clears throat> and this is really pretty. I'm going to have to definitely do a swatch because this one could be cool too. This is the Spearmint Breeze, which is supposed to be a, a pale minty green, minty blue. And I even put a little tiny hint of turquoise in there. And I got this super bright colorway. So I have this, which could be really fun. But then let me show you if we take that one out. Because I have some other leftover. <laughs> I have some other leftover mohair from other projects. I have this really pretty one from Emma's Yarn. This one's called Buttonwood. 
that looks really good with that these two look really good. that looks really good right these two look super awesome this is only a fingering weight though so that i mean in the pattern you hold two strands of that so it's technically a fingering weight as well so i'm just a little hesitant and plus i'm not entirely sure how well that would go together but this so i'm gonna have to swatch right but then i was like well what if we went back to the blue because blue and yellow looks really nice if only my spin cycle had blue and yellow in it. A little bit of yellow, maybe. Maybe not as much purple. I don't I don't know. I really like these two together. I like those three together. You know why? Because I have a sweater that's knit in these three colors, technically. I have the body is this and the color work is a, a similar yellow. And then the blue is a little bit darker than that so I have a sweater in these colors <laughs> maybe I don't need these colors but yeah this is I mean I pulled a couple other mohair colors that I could do I could also do any of these grays but I think I want to do either the purple or the yellow so that's really hard you know to to make that decision I mean, this is, this is super fun. Super fun. It is so bright on, on the screen. I mean, it's bright in person too. So, so pretty. But again, yeah, this is fingering weight. I didn't have any more sport weight to dye. So it was really a gamble. Crazy. Um, so this is my box of plans kind of for August. And I also want to start one other thing in August. It's not on any list or anything like that, but I would really love a new hat for when winter comes. And I've wanted to knit the Musselboro hat by Isolde Teague for a while. And I thought it would be amazing to do it in this color, which is blowing out like crazy. So I have this yarn from a friend who's was in a wool swap. Um, this is Perennial by Kelborn woolens which I've never heard of this brand before colorways neon lime this is a 60% superwash merino 25% surrey alpaca 15% nylon it's 497 yards to 100 grams and it's this like I said a neon lime color like ooh, I love it it would make a, such a fun muscle burra hat I mean, I could even stripe this with black. I don't know. I don't know. Straight straight up neon. Maybe do one half this neon, one half black. So when you fold it up, you get a pop of the neon or a pop of black. I don't know the options. But I would like to get this started this month so that I can take my time with it and have it done by the cold season. I don't know. This is... This is an idea, but I also want to get things off the needles so that when I do start these things, <laughs> anyways, 30 minutes in, sorry guys. All right. The sewing bit, the sewing bit, I got curious about head wraps, dread wraps, whatever you want to call them. As you can see, I have my dreads in a bun. Um, I actually did add more dreads in this past Friday. They were uncomfortable at first because they're really heavy. Um, but I've gotten a bit more used to them. What's nice is I can throw them up in this like bun and I don't have to wrap them. They kind of just stay. But I do like having this wrap on them to kind of hold it up. You know, it's like it's like those bands that pregnant women wear to hold their belly up. It's kind of the same. It, it helps hold up the weight. So I just, this is just a tube of knit fabric that I had. I had a, I had a, a scrap piece of fabric in my stash of this this is the only knit well i'm gonna probably make one of these too so i have this knit as well this is a game of thrones knit which means it's just stretchy fabric i've had this in my stash for years and i've been too scared to use it it's absolutely wonderful i have a big i don't know how much i have two yards one yard it might just be one yard yeah just one yard of it so cool. I've never known what to make with this. 
So I'm thinking I'm just gonna make myself a headband eventually <laughs> when I have the, the guts to cut into it. But you don't need just knitwear, which is nice for these other ones that I made. But yeah, this is just a tube. It's not finished in any way. I just sewed up a tube, fits my head. It's nice. I took another scrap piece of fabric when I found this other pattern. These all these patterns I found on YouTube for free. Um, super easy. So I found this one. And this is not a stretchy fabric. This is a quilting fabric. This still works. So it's one of those, you know, those crossed ones. And it's got a nice stretchy back so that, you know, it fits an adult head. It's super easy to make. So I made one of those. I don't think this cross like turban style is my is my personal favorite. I'm not a big fan of it, but I mean I like the fabric. I think I might have a little bit left of this fabric too. And then the other one I made was using more of this knit fabric. Um, I wanted a wider thing, so I found another pattern on YouTube. Again, a free pattern where it's just this wide thing. And you don't have to use stretchy fabric, you can use cotton. So I ordered some pretty like moon fabric. But yeah, same, same concept. You get your elastic stretchy bit in the back and then it's wide in the, on the top. So it can cover all this if it's a mess. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. These took no time at all. They're super, super easy. Um, I'll try to link the videos below if I can find them again. I think I saved them, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, once the fabric comes for those, I'm gonna make two more of, I mean, this is the only style I really like. So I'll just make some more of these and then I should be good, right? I mean, I'm gonna make, oh, uh, what would you suggest with a uh, one yard of stretchy knits uh, in this beautiful Game of Thrones fabric? I don't want a shirt. I thought about making leggings, but A, that's really scary, and B, I think they'd have to be like Capri leggings because I think everything that I saw a million years ago when I bought this was you needed two yards. So I don't even know if one yard would make Capri style leggings, but that would be fun. I would, lo I would love it if I could have a skirt, but again, I don't think, I don't think one yard is enough. And the fabric is directional, I think. Yeah, unfortunately it is because the White Walker, he's faced up. If he was like all random, then maybe it wouldn't matter, but it's directional, unfortunately. I don't even know where I bought this from, but it was, an, it was, it was over two years ago because I was, the basement was still unfinished. This August will be two years down here, finally. Two years, it's, it's hard to believe that we finished the basement two years ago. It's crazy, but I just know that the basement wasn't finished when, <laughs> when I bought it. So it's older than two years. All right, guys, that's all that I got. Busy week coming up. Crazy. I just stocked up the fridge for the kids. Um, I actually reorganized the pantry, which makes me feel awesome. Um, so I got TikTok's been like, I mean, I don't watch TikTok. I don't have TikTok. But, you know, the Instagram and the Facebook equivalent um, with all their restock clock videos, if you want to call them that. I've only heard one person call it that. But the restock videos really get me hard. So I got little juice cups, filled those up today for the kids for the first time. And then we got Lunchable, re like Tupperware. Like it's like a Lunchable, so it's four little containers. Um, but they're reusable. So I got those. So I'm thinking, <laughs> me and the kids are going to. On Tuesday night, we're going to go ahead and pack up a couple of those. Ooh, it's fun. Anyways, I will go ahead and let you go so that I can get this uploaded and get knitting. I have not knit at all today, so I need to get going, guys. All right, 